in the past who's retired or whatever that you think if you'd had a chance to take them under your wing that you could have saved them or made them a top guy that never got the chance to be from the past? Raven was a top guy. Uh, you know, Raven was. Raven, ra honestly, and, I, and, I, and I, I actually read for the first time what Raven wrote. In, in, in the program, I just read it backstage and was moved a lot by it. Raven should never have left ECW. He put himself in the hands of the wrong people. He put himself in the hands of people that had no vision for that character. So, I, and I think, I think he'd be the first one to tell you that, you know, that at, at, at a time when we were about to experience potentially the greatest growth because we just found pay-per-view, the, the guy who could have become the face of the brand because he was such, such an upstart, such a revolutionary, such a, such a well-played character that he, it, he just put himself in the hands of people that just didn't give a shit about who the soul of Raven was. And, and I, 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 I loved that character as much as I did any other character in ECW. I, Scott Levy portrayed that character like nobody else ever could. The character of Raven was invented by two people. Scott Levy, Scott Levy had, had this concept, and he pitched it to one person who was obsessed with pop culture and the, the, the music revolution and, and the hip-hop revolution. And, and not, not that Raven was hip-hop, but his character was was this angst see here's the magic of raven the magic of raven was that he was a sympathetic character who deserved no sympathy he was beaten by his drunken father but you didn't feel bad for him he came from a broken home of which a lot of people could identify with but nobody could identify with him why because he was such a great heel that no, and what a performer, by the way, at that time, that nobody cheered him. That in front of the smartest audience in the world at the time, he could outsmart them on a nightly basis. It wasn't the 50-50 thing that you see now where people go, yeah, he's a heel, but I respect his work. Oh, he's a heel, but he's a great worker. People hated Raven. They paid to see him lose. They paid to see him get his ass kicked. People paid for two and a half years waiting for Tommy Dreamer to finally get that first victory over Raven. Why? Because of the brilliance of Scott Levy's performance. No one outside of two people, Scott Levy and Paul Heyman, understood that because we had the privilege, again that word, and the blessing of creating that character together. Now when you hand that over to an Eric Bischoff on Eric's best day at his brightest, no, 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 I'm not knocking them on this. Uh, anybody on their best, anybody in here on your best day, on your brightest, won't be able to tap into the soul of that character because you didn't create it. Because you weren't there when we sat there for days on end and said, who is this guy? What's his history? What's his story? When do we reveal that his father was a drunk? When, when do we talk about the beatings he suffered as a child? How many weeks in? How many years into the story do we reveal that? And if you're not part of that process, how can you possibly then be within the soul of the character? If you and you, any of you, any of you sat in a room and created a character and let it play out on television where this character evolves and this character has all these layers and then you hand the character to me after four years and say, run with it, I can't. I'm gonna have to change this character by giving him part of a vision that I will see because I wasn't in those, in those discussions where you very carefully decided what day this new layer gets peeled back. Eric Bischoff could never have booked Raven properly because he didn't understand the soul of Raven. Vince McMahon could not have written for Raven properly because he didn't understand the soul of Raven. And Scott Levy was so inside the soul of Raven that when you tried to get this character to 
go in a different direction, it didn't make sense to Scott Levy anymore because inside his heart was the blood of Raven. I can't say that Raven didn't have a chance at being the main event. He did. He, he, he went for what he found to be a much greater opportunity in WCW. Financially, it was. But in terms of the development of that character, it, it wasn't, OK? Um, um, who never had a shot on top? I'll give you a different answer, OK? I'll give you one that doesn't truly answer your question, but addresses it. Who should have been a much bigger star than they were? Sabu. Yes. And, and a lot of that, much like Shane Douglas and Sabu will be the first one to confess to this, was self-inflicted. But by the time Sabu had an opportunity to perform in front of a much bigger audience than ECW could um, present to him, Sabu had destroyed his own body, both in the ring and with out of ring activities, and the world never got a chance to really see the best of Sabu unless you either A, have videotapes from 1993, 1994, the beginning of, uh, the beginning of 1995, uh, or, you, and I'm not plugging the WWE Network, but if you happen to get it and they have those shows on it and Sabu's on those shows, you can see him at his best. Um, or you know, on, or on any other you know YouTube, which whichever whichever method you choose, Sabu in that era was revolutionary. He was ahead of his. T you know, that's the thing about being ahead of your time. You don't make the money that other people will stealing all of your. <laughs> um, in which case, ECW bankrupt, Attitude Era billionaires. <laughs> so. Sabu, Sabu falls into that. Sabu, um, Sabu had the right, or, or 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 should have gone down in history as truly one of the most influential, one of the most groundbreaking superstars ever. And I I, I don't think that'll be his legacy, though. Um, and, and, and again, he has to take some of the blame for this, but that's the answer. Of, of all the people that I've seen in the past 30 years, who, you know, who, 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 deserved, who deserved more than he ended up with? Sabu. I went out uh, into this passionate, angry, 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 angry Chicago crowd, pissed off that their guy, their hero, CM Punk was no longer in the company. And I lured them in because that's the name of the game. That's how you play an audience. That's how you command attention. That's the balls that it takes to do something on the mic that you're fearless on. And if it doesn't work, you know you're gonna be fired when you walk back through the curtain.